What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to get some basics on both sides of things, right? Golf and fitness. We're going to look at the grip, all right? So we're going to have a look at the fundamentals of the golf grip, how it's going to impact your game, your swing, your movement, and how you transfer your gains in the gym into the ball. But also we're going to look at a few simple ways that you can improve your grip strength and why that's going to help your game as well. All right, so obviously the hands are the last piece of the puzzle in terms of connecting the body to the club, okay? And obviously we need our body to generate as much power as possible, so we don't want that last piece of the chain to be leaking out any energy, okay? They're also incredibly important in the technical side of the swing, which is what we're gonna have a quick look at now, all right? So obviously you can play a various number of grips and they're gonna work, all right? It's relative to a lot of other factors, but I'm gonna talk you through kind of what I've seen and where the most players are at, okay? So, in terms of how the grips go, hands go on the grip, generally, you get two styles, really, that golfers use. You've got the interlocking style, which is what I use, where your hands are gonna be directly connected. You're gonna have overlapping style, which is similar, but not directly connected. You obviously, you get the overlapping style. And then you have the 10 finger grip, okay? So that's gonna be, not connected, however, whenever you do this one, make sure you are still in contact, all right? They're not directly connected in this grip, but you do need to connect, uh, maintain contact, all right? But the thing we want to look at really is the types of grip once you've got that established, okay? That really is just personal preference. Here, this is gonna directly affect the club, okay? So what you'll see is obviously we have a neutral grip, strong grip, and a weak grip, okay? Neutral, you're gonna have the hands more or less matching each other. You're probably gonna be able to see a couple of knuckles on the lead side, and then the line on your thumb, between your thumb and your forefinger on your trail arm, is pretty much gonna point up to the right, to the trail shoulder, okay? That's, that's the basic fundamentals of the grip, and that, in theory, is gonna give you a pretty neutral club face, all of the things staying equal, okay? The weaker grip, which is employed by some players when you're kind of focusing on body turn, you wanna hit a fade, you take the hands out of the swing somewhat so it can minimize power relative to the rest of your movements. But the weak grip, the lead hand is gonna go more underneath so you can't see those knuckles anymore to some extent. And the trail hand is then going to sit pretty much where it would be in a neutral grip, more on top, and that's gonna match up with the left hand, okay? Like I said, that's going to leave you with more of an open club face impact due to the rotation of your forearms and then you have to match that up with your body turn if you want to play a weak grip, okay? So if you've got a super hard body turn, you can bring the club back to a good impact position, but your face is gonna be slightly open to the path of the club, you match your start line, and you hit your fade on line, okay? One way of doing it, there's lots of ways of doing it, okay? What a lot of golfers will go to and benefit from is a stronger grip. Okay, and that's when the lead hand is gonna go more over the top of the club and you can see more knuckles. All right, again, different variations, depends where you want the face to be, but you're gonna see more of the back of your lead hand and then the trail hand is gonna sit more underneath. Okay, so you can wrap your hand more underneath, palm up in some ways. This is gonna create a stronger club face. All right, so it's gonna be more rotation, you're gonna be closed to the target in many instances. Okay, so here, you're looking more to having an into out path, then the club face is gonna be close to that path, match it up, then you can hit your draw, okay? So, it depends what you want to do with your game, but you have neutral, you have weak, you have strong, match it up to your body turn. That's really where it's gonna be and how you want the ball to fly, okay? So for me, I'm probably just a hair stronger than neutral. I'm not looking for a massive amount of shape on my shots, I like to be able to change other fundamentals to hit the shot that I need. So for me, I look down, I'm gonna be able to see probably two, maybe just get a glimpse of that third. So I said two and a half knuckles on my left hand, and then the right hand, I'm always looking for that basic position of the line between the forefinger and the thumb going up through that right shot, okay? Then I match it up to the rest of the body, that allows me to transfer the hands, the club head, into the ball with that powerful rotation. Okay, so that's the basics of the grip, but what about actual grip strength, okay? Because this is a big factor. Certainly, obviously, you're looking at the drivers. The technology helps with the torque on the ball, but also you've got to be able to hold on to the thing, all right? So we're swinging faster and faster. You need to transfer the energy through, so grip strength is going to be a factor. And we're not talking about how hard you can actually grip, but more the 
continuation of force, development and transfer once you go through the swing. Okay, so set your grip and then we've got to build that grip. Okay, we've got three movements for you here. Three exercise styles essentially that you can really work. Number one, very simply, is going to be your carries. Okay, so obviously carrying a heavy object is going to build up that grip strength. The most simple is going to be the farmer's carry. Two heavy weights and you're going to just carry them whatever distance we set, guys. Okay, but a few things to look at here is posture. Okay, so when you're carrying those weights, it's going to want to pull you down into a rounded position. We want you to engage the core, erect the spine, and keep those shoulders tall. Okay, stay engaged, especially the shoulder. Don't let them come forwards. Let's stay up, stay engaged, and hold strong, guys. Okay, another cool variation here would be to just hold one weight, which makes it asymmetrical. That we have to work on neutralizing the spine, which adds a pretty cool element in there for golfers as we try and balance out the rotation, the patterns that we go through day to day, okay? Movement number two, and this one obviously you can go through lots of variations, but banded work, okay? The banded rotations, like the reverse lunge into chop, as you see here, is going to mean that we have to stabilize the body and then transfer the energy through the hands against the resistance of the band to deliver the movement. So in terms of your hand positioning, you're gonna learn a lot in terms of where the stress and resistance from the band goes, and how our hands react to that, okay? So this can go for pretty much any banding movement, lots of different protocols, but this type of movement here, we have to add a symmetry and a pretty explosive rotation is gonna be an awesome way to get it done and build up that grip strength as we go. The final one, we kind of pump this one out often, guys, right, because it's such a win for golfers of all levels and all abilities, is gonna be the kettlebell swing, okay? You have to nail that hinge, neutral spine, use the ground, and again, it's core to extremity, you're using your body, all the energy comes from the ground and your movement pan, we transfer it through to the kettlebell swing, okay? You do a few swings, your forearms are gonna light up, you're gonna feel it in the hands, that's adaptation, that's you building that grip strength, and it's a very cool sequence and understanding of how the energy transfers, and again, it's gonna help you into your game, guys, all right? So, Build it up. Let's get some strong working hands on there. And obviously, the more you practice, the more you're gonna feel obviously comfortable with your grip and how it relates to the club face, but also how strong your grip is and how that is translating to increased performance on the course, guys. All right, so don't overlook the simple things. We need a technically sound grip. We need a strong grip, all right, because we want to deliver performance and the hands are the last place it goes through. Okay, so hit up both aspects here, put some work in, tag us in online. Obviously, go ahead and download the Golf Water app. It's a free download, you got more and more free trials, you've got some really super cool coaching coming to it too. It's a building community, guys, right? Go get some, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe, then go put in some work. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs>